Hello, Simon the Fox here. In this video, I will be showing you how to wipe your ass. Knowing how to wipe your butt properly is important for several reasons. Number one, wiping properly will lower the chances of you getting a nasty rash. Number two, you won't have to wash your clothes as often, thus making them last longer. Number three, it's good for the ecosystem. One organism's waste is another organism's treasure. There are plenty of YouTube videos that talk about the benefits of wiping your butt properly, so I won't go over all the reasons. Hopefully the three benefits I just listed are enough to encourage you. For this video, we'll have a human demonstrate what a proper butt wipe looks like. Before you start a butt wipe, it's important to ensure all the waste is out of your rectum. After this step is done, grab five or six squares of toilet paper. Six might sound like a lot, but it's a good idea to have a few extra for reinforcement. Roll the toilet paper loosely around your hand. Now, you're ready to begin the wipe. I'll be explaining this part slowly, but the actual process should be swift. To begin, stand up just enough for your hand to have access to the wiping area. Stand up too much and your butt cheeks will close up and squish the poop that's already there, so be careful. Now, get your hand in position. In the beginning of the wipe, your hand should be in between the bottom of your butt cheeks and the bottom of your privates. I'll refer to this as a bottom position. Once you have your hand in the bottom position and you have prepared yourself mentally and physically, apply some pressure and move your hand to the top of your butt cheeks and in at the very start of your hips. Now that you've completed a wipe, it's time to see how you did. Take a look at the dirty side of the wipe. Is your poop smear big or small? Depending on this answer, you may have to do another wipe. If the poop smear is big and takes up 60% or more of the toilet paper, do another wipe. However, if the smear is small and doesn't smell much, flush the toilet and wash your hands. If you do another wipe, you'll only need 4 toilet paper squares, since this wipe will be relatively small from the last one. You made it to the end of the video. If you've learned something, that's great, but it also worries me a bit. How have you been wiping your butt before? It's important to do what you can to take care of yourself. Even doing the small things like wiping your butt properly will help you live your best life. But that's for a different video. My name's Simon the Fox, and I'll see you next time here at Sylvester Studios. Bye bye!